Right, just going to demonstrate some simple changes that we can make to this rat trap car to change its performance. At the moment, it's got very big wheels. It had a very long lever arm and it's got a relatively small back axle. The easiest change I can make is to change the length of the lever arm. If I attach the string halfway along it, instead of being right at the far end, it's now halfway along. That actually means that the lever arm is going to put more power through to the back wheels. You might have to think about that a little bit for a while, but let me just make it simple. The shorter the arm, the more power is going to go to the back wheels. You're not going to get as much movement, so it potentially won't travel as far, but it's going to get there quicker. Being as we're only in my kitchen, so the maximum distance we can go is only about 5 metres, it's not going to make any difference to me how far it goes, but it is going to take off quicker. So if I let go of this, you will see that it goes faster than the previous version. So here we go. that is going, that's probably going twice as fast as the original version did, simply because there's more power being pushed to those back wheels. Right, another way of improving the performance of my rat trap car will be to fit an automatic gearbox. Now that might sound a bit complicated, but it's incredibly simple to do. What I'm going to do is put some foam discs on the back of the axle here, or on the axle here, to increase its diameter. And I'm going to make a three gear gearbox. You'll see in a minute. Right, first thing I've done is remove the peg from the middle, because I need to set it off to one side. Right, I'm going to cut this styrofoam, polystyrene plate up into strips and wrap them round that back axle. That's a strip off the plate. I'll put a bit of sticky tape on the end of it. I shall now stick that onto the back axle and wrap it round. all three gears wrapped on. I could have made this one much bigger but because of the way I've built the car I need some space between the axle and that cross member and I can't go much bigger without rearranging things. So I'm not going to do that today but I could either move the axle further back or move the cross member further forwards and make a much bigger gear there. But for the purposes of demonstration, this will do fine. I need to put a peg back in there to grip the string. Right, try and do a bit of a demonstration. Um, you're not going to see much when I do this out in the kitchen because my kitchen is not long enough to actually use up all the length of string. But if I just let this go, you'll see it starts off on the biggest drum. That gives us the most power to actually pull away same as starting off in first gear in your car, then it will automatically be on second gear, which once it's moving that means it should be able to start accelerating, and then finally it will be on the smallest gear there, or smallest drum, which is in effect top gear, third gear, which is when it's going its fastest. So I'll just release it so you can see it spin, and then I'll go down in the kitchen and give it a little test run. Thank you. 
Right then, I'm going to try and demonstrate these gears working. I've only put about two turns on each gear, certainly on the first and second gear, because otherwise we run out of distance in my kitchen and you won't see it working. So we're in first gear at the moment, which is the biggest drum. Then it will automatically unwind onto the second gear. And then hopefully we'll actually get onto third gear, the smallest one. Which you see I've got a lot of string on there. We won't use any of that because we'll hit the end of my kitchen by then. So, we'll release and I'll try and keep the camera on the gearbox. So, second gear. just got onto third gear and we hit the end of the kitchen. So the idea there is it's accelerating. It starts off in a low gear which is a big drum then onto second gear then onto third gear. If I was remaking this, which I'm not going to do, I'd actually move the axle further back or that cross member further forwards make that gear even bigger so we get a nice easy acceleration from stationary because that's all that's doing that's helping us getting moving once we're moving we don't need so much power and when we're going at a good speed we can go on to the lowest gear sorry the highest gear the smallest pulley and that will get us going the furthest so there you go a three gear automatic gearbox The next improvement I could make would be to make the wheels smaller. I could either fit some smaller wheels or I'm quite tempted to have a go with a hot wire and see if I can actually cut these down and make them smaller for no other reason than because I can. Right then, final modification. I'm going to see if I can cut my wheels down in size using a hot wire. No idea if this will work. And I'm doing it outside because I expect it will be pretty smelly. I don't expect the fumes will be very healthy so that's why we're outdoors and it's a bit noisy. I don't think I'll be able to video myself doing it at the same time because I need both hands free. Well that started off quite well see that. I've got about uh, three quarters of the way around and I've actually burnt my wire out. Not surprised, I was trying to rush it a bit. So I was using 12 volts, whereas before I've only used 6 volts on it. So I'll put my wire back on again and have another go. And I might just try it at 6 volts, which is going to take a lot longer. But I uh, might do it without burning the wire. Right job done. So I've now got smaller wheels all round and it's getting cold outside so uh, we'll go in and give it a test run. Okay back inside in the warm we've now got our smaller wheels we've got our automatic gearbox as I like to call it, our three position um, spools and I've even fixed the release mechanism so we can let it go and see what it does and I've put some cushions at the far end there so that uh, don't hit the door too hard. Right, so and there we go. All working. I suppose I could have run behind it and shown the gearbox working again, but we've done that. So there we go. Uh, smaller wheels give us a quicker acceleration. The gearbox 
gives us a better acceleration and with those two added facilities I didn't need to shorten the lever arm to get the power out of it. No idea what sort of distance that will cover. As you can see we're well hardly, well not even half the um, throw of the arm used yet and we've hit the end of the kitchen so um, no idea how far that can go <laughs> at the very least 10 meters on the basis of we've only used half the string and we've covered the five meters of my kitchen so that's the update to bargain store project number 30 which was a rat trap car and we've tried three modifications to improve the performance. Right, we'll just give this a try on the footpath. And see what happens. So what sort of distance was that? It's got to be 15 metres, something like that. 